Good morning everyone, it's Kara again, back with another little video showing you how to use the mascara products. Um, today I'm using a few different things, so it's fun and different for me. Um, today I am using the Power Powder Brush. I used it in my last video, but I really only used it to show you how you can deepen your contour. Today I'm showing you how you can use it for a full face. Again, starting um, with my highlight, taking my lighter color down in that triangle position below my eyes, so around my nose, and covering up the redness that are, that's on my eyelids. Um, I really like this brush. I don't know why I do my highlight first. Um, I, something weird. I don't know. I'm a weirdo, guys. Um, and then just taking my darker color and again using that up on my forehead, down my nose, around my mouth, gotta cover up that sit, you know, hormones, get it, there it goes. Am I right ladies? Hormone, get you every time. Anyways, so then we're gonna drag it down my jawline and one thing I love about this makeup is it just blends so beautifully. I feel like for the first time ever, I am not getting that line on my cheek. This is the other end of the brush. It's kind of like a kabuki brush. For those of you who are huge Jaclyn Hill fans like me, she talked about it a lot when she first started making her makeup tutorials. Again, for your contour, you're just gonna start at your hairline and go down your jawbone, sorry, cheekbone. Um, and you always wanna keep your contour up above your cheekbone because you don't want it to drag your face down. And then up on my forehead and using a different color blush today. See, it kind of took me by surprise. I had never used this color before. It's called Nude and it came in my artist kit. So um, it kind of took me by surprise with how dark it was. But that's another thing that I love is you can kind of not have to be perfect. What am I doing? Oh, changing my music. I'm listening to 90s One Hit Wonders. For all of you 80s, 90s babes like me, I highly recommend that playlist. Anyways, back to the makeup. So then you just blend, blend, blend with your blender ball. As you can see, I did not go get a new one. I still have my nasty old one, but hey, whatever works, right? So just blending it out, and as you can see, even though I did put a lot of blush on, it is just blending so beautifully. This is my old and tried and true um, eyebrow stencil. I'm laughing at myself because I'm trying to do this video in my phone. Um, I was trying to use different lighting than last time, so literally trying to do my eyebrows on my tiny phone screen is interesting. If you ladies have a favorite um, eyebrow stencil or pencil or liner, whatever, um, let me know below because I'm always open to try new things. Singing and dancing. Get it together, Kara. Now I'm just going to do my mascara. I'm probably going to skip over this part. I did have a couple people ask me about my lashes. Funny story, I've always had teeny tiny baby lashes, but I use a lash serum now because all of mine fell out after I got fake ones. Today for the first time, I'm also using the Illuminator. Um, it is also cream based. So you can see I'm kind of pretending like I put it on because when I was filming, I actually took a picture and had to re-record this part for you. But it is so, so gorgeous. All the other times it's just given me such a natural glow. This makeup that I've never used the Illuminator and today was the first time and I absolutely love it. Finish off with the lips for your cheeks and that is it you guys thanks for watching and that's it that's all you need to redefine your makeup routine thanks again for watching guys i hope you have